Hello again everybody, hope you're all doing well. So here's an interesting one for you. What do you do if you have a carburetor that you don't know the size of and it's got an oval bore like this one? So what we have here is a carburetor from a 50cc Chinese scooter, two stroke, and it says it's a Mikuni, but um, I have my doubts just because the genuine ones normally have on the float bowl somewhere um, the model number, which also gives you an idea of what size they are. This does not, so I'm thinking Chinese copy, which considering it's a Chinese scooter would make sense. Um, but I wanna know the size of this thing. Now the engine on this particular bike uh, is the Marini uh, clone, which the Marini engine was used on loads of bikes, uh, Suzuki Sepia 50, you know, Suzuki Katana 50, TGBs, Itel Jets, and all sorts of things. Um, but sticking with the Suzukis, uh, both of those had either 14 millimeter or 16 millimeter carburetors from the factory. So I'm gonna hazard a guess that this is probably either 14 or 16 millimeter. But how do we work out for sure? Because we've got an overall bore, makes it a bit more difficult to uh, work out except it doesn't, it's actually really easy. Uh, so what you'll see a lot of people doing is getting the vernier gauge and measuring this opening here, which is the in outlet side, the side that bolts onto the um, manifold of the engine. So they'll measure across here and they'll say, oh, okay, yeah, based on that measurement, this is a 19 millimeter carburetor, which it's obviously not going to be um, because this is the factory carburetor, it's not an aftermarket one. Uh, it's not unusual to see a 19 millimeter carburetor on a 50 cc engine if it's an aftermarket, but this is the factory one, so that's not likely. Largest factory carburetor I've seen on a 50 was about 17.5 millimeters, I believe, so that can't be right. So obviously this measurement's wrong, and actually we can see it's wrong because we can see how this bore. Let me pick this up so maybe you can see a little bit better. You can see how it tapers in. So that measurement on the outside there isn't going to be right because it tapers into a smaller bore anyway. So how do we work this out, especially being that it's oval? Well, what you do is you grab yourself some bits of cardboard and you cut them to different sizes. Now I've I've done a load of um, quite common sizes here, so we've got 19 millimeter, 17.5, 16, uh, 14 and 12. And we're going to take two measurements. The first measurement is going to be from top to bottom. And you're going to want to take the slider, um, you know, the slider and the pin out for this so that you can drop stuff in there without stuff getting in the way. So let's start with a 17.5 and just see, just see how that fits in there. So if I drop this in here, now you can't see this too well because my fingers are in the way, but there's actually a little bit of space at the top there. So that's actually too small. So let's go ahead and grab our 19. Right. Let's chuck the 19 in there, right? That actually fits perfectly. Okay, so the 19 millimeter fits perfectly. Now, before you jump to conclusions, this doesn't mean it's a 19 millimeter carburetor because we've already established that that isn't the case. Um, it just means it's 19 millimeters from the top to the bottom. So now we need to take a second measurement. The second measurement is gonna be across from side to side. So that looks pretty tight. I'm actually gonna start with the 12 and see what that looks like. And actually the 12 millimeter fits perfectly. So we've got two measurements here then. We've got 19 millimeters from top to bottom and we've got 12 millimeters from side to side. So to work out the bore, we need to work out the average between these two numbers. So the first thing we need to do is add those two together. 19 plus 12 is 31. Then we need to divide it by the number of measurements, in this case two, which gives us about 15.5, which um, if we take into account, because there's another thing we have to know, and that's that the slider actually does go up just a tiny bit more beyond the uh, roof of this, which will give you about another half a millimetre or so of space in there. So if our measurements are coming out at 15.5, allowing for a little bit of extra, we can say with a fairly good degree of confidence that this is a 16 millimetre carburetor, which as I mentioned before, would make sense because the standard carburetors on these engines were either 14 or 16. So there we go. That's what we have here, 16 millimeter carburetor. And that is a nice, easy and fairly accurate. I mean, you know, we're not talking about, you know, measuring to like a thousandth of a millimeter or anything. We're just talking about getting a good idea of the size of the carb. But that's a pretty safe bet on how to work out what size carburetor you have by measuring the bore if you have like a overbore like I do. 
So hopefully uh, some of you guys found that helpful. If you did, please do give this video a like, um, go check out the other videos on my channel. And for now, I'll catch you all again soon.